Welcome back to Blue's Garden. Starting some indoor herbs. It's the dead of winter and that doesn't matter to me. I like to grow herbs all year round. I will link to my video on how I sift, but I start with two thirds bottom is uh, regular potting soil. I tamp it down just a little bit. Don't squish it down hard, but you wanna pack it in a little bit. You don't want any air in there. Uh, fill a little bit more up, and then I use the lightly sifted seed starter, which is different from potting soil. It's a much lighter mix on top. So, so that top bit is just seed starter. I will then top everything off, and the first thing I'm going to start with is some opal basil, dark opal basil seeds. They are extremely tiny. Basil is a very small seed, like onion seed size. And I will take an overseed, which means instead of just one or two in little areas, I will put a good handful in the area and, of course, always label so you don't forget which is which. And now I will just use an Italian, the Genovese basil, uh, similar, a really tiny seed. And I will also do the same. I will overseed. And this means that I'll probably end up breaking these up when they start coming in into three or four uh, small pots, um, just overseed. Feel free to use as much as you want. And then I'm going to put a very fine, no more than the thickness of the seed, layer of the fine sifted seed starter, not potting soil, seed starter on top. And again, I'm just going to uh, label it as, as basil, knowing it's the Italian Genovese basil. Basil. And the last thing I'm going to plant for today is a curly burnt parsley. I already have some oregano going, so I will uh, do parsley, basil, and oregano, my Italian herbs. And parsley is a fairly small, a little bit bigger than the basil, but again, overseed. And then once that starts to come in, I'll probably break that as well. Don't forget to cover it in a fine sifted soil on top label that as well. You want to remember which one. When they're all tiny, they all look alike. So, and then into a shallow pan, and I'm going to water from the bottom, so I'll just fill the bottom up with water, and that will allow the water to soak through the whole four-inch pots that I'm growing these in. It'd be great if you could share this video. That helps me grow, and that'll help you grow. Thanks. Thanks, and don't forget to like and subscribe for more Blues Garden Tips.